Greg here. Um, the HD uh, Sea Hunter Special uh, Ship of Ice uh, is about the story of Mark Pike's life and, or sorry, <laughs> okay. is, uh, is about the uh, story of Jeffrey Pike and he was either a genius or a madman because he actually came up with the idea of building this enormous ice vessel uh, of a substance that could be called Pycrete and uh, to revolutionize, change the tide of the war. The U-boats uh, were just making a massacre in the Atlantic and the theory was if you could make a giant iceberg that served as uh, a transport vessel, a um, supply vessel, a, a weapon, uh, or an aircraft carrier that was just as resistant to explosions and whatnot that icebergs are. U-boats can't do anything. They can't ram it. They can fire torpedoes into it like crazy. So uh, after some discussion, we decided that this guy's life is so extreme, so, so out there. Uh, from being extremely wealthy to starting these crazy schools for children, giving them power tools, and walking away, all this crazy stuff that it reads like a comic book story. So we're actually discussing uh, parts of the, the show and Greg's doing up illustrations here so we work together and this shot here uh, involves an escape um, and me and Greg will discuss the shot. Greg will do up a rough sketch um, of probably this caliber just so we can uh, determine whether or not it's, the panel's going to work visually mm -hmm. or story wise. Uh, this is for a different panel, but Greg then uh, creates what he calls a, like a, a fully rendered sketch. This isn't quite the same as comic book art. What we're doing actually is um, is go taking them so only so far in the same vein that a comic book image would be taken, and then we're incorporating them into the digital media very quickly, very early on. That's you know, it, it's an interesting process, that's for sure. Um, and the fact is, is that the man's life, Jeffrey Pike's life, really does read like a comic. So it, it really lends itself, it lends itself well to uh, comic book art. Yeah. So like this panel here, he escapes from an internment camp. Greg uh, did a final pencil, then he'll move on and he'll ink a copy of the picture. And we ink it because we then digitize it, and then once it's digitized, because it's fine line ink, it's nice contrast to the paper. Digitally, it's a lot easier to manipulate at that point. And then from there, in a digital medium, Greg will color it, so he'll create more or less regions and drop color into the, uh, the photo and it ends up looking much like a, a comic book panel. Um, our detail is very limited because we're actually trying to mimic comic books that are not too far from the era it's at the style. time. Yeah. yeah, like an earlier comic book era. Then in the show, the way the panel actually appears is <coughs> colored, these will all be uh, colored. We have some stand-ins there of just old pictures we found. Just as we get the comic book layout, we decide how the layout's going to work. Um, and we'll move through the panels progressively throughout the show. And this is done digitally. So we'll actually create a 3D object, much like we do with the animations, and skin it with this image. And then we have a virtual camera that can move with accuracy, color correction, anything. And we can actually decide how we want a camera to move, jump in and out from panel to panel. And that will actually be the final product that ends up in the show.